All right, okay. now recording. All right, guys, we're uh, we're doing this yet again. You you're probably okay. gonna hear me and his his recording yeah. twice. But I, okay, I'm looking I on the wrong side of the screen. We're already ten minutes into mine, or ten oh, and a half. Oh crap! All right, so all right, guys, <laughs> I'm, like so let's, I am let's, skyping let's with Falgar five one seven, and I need to link his channel in the description and also on the my featured page. But we're talking about the to get it here. It's an evil collection. So yeah, we're currently on number one. Resident Evil with Mila Jovovich. Did I get yeah. the name right? Jo uh, well, I guess it's pronounced technically it's Jovovich, I guess. Okay, oh. Mila. I'll just call you Mila. And if you see this Mila, um, <laughs> okay. I'm about, I'm going to put a ring on it. Anywho, uh, there we got Michelle Rodriguez, and there's the back for you. And unlike Falgar's, mine has been open. All these have been open. The plastic's off of them. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, so you've given your take on it. Or yeah. at least you might have been in the process of giving your take on it. Yeah, I, I basically, I, I enjoyed the film. Um, I didn't mind, you know, once again, like I mentioned, I didn't mind that uh, it didn't, it kind of strayed away from the, the plot of what, you know, folks might be used to in the games. Uh -huh. But that didn't bother me one bit. I mean, I sat back, you know, just enjoyed the show and watched it for what it was. You know, just basically maybe an expansion uh, uh, of of what the what the game is, or just another un another take on the game, I guess, with uh -huh. these films. Not to be, um, you shouldn't really uh, look at it as if it's like a a recreation of what you know what the games were. Oh yeah. Space. Uh, I, I know still people have like they've played the game, then they'll watch the movie. They'll mm -hmm. give the movie bad reviews. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it, like a lot of people didn't like Alice being in the movie because she was never in any of the games. Right, here we are. I quite enjoyed Alice. I enjoyed Alice. Absolutely. I mean, you see who plays Alice, and if you don't enjoy that, mm -hmm. don't watch this video. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, so I don't know typically what questions you like to ask, so you can ask me and kind of interview me about this, because you know... Yeah, okay, because I started talking about my take, and I'm like, okay, well, first of all, what... What did you think of like, uh, well, basically the plot of the film and, and, and the characters in there? You know, besides, of course, Alice. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I've like, um, Resident Evil came out when I was, uh, I guess, growing up. You you can okay. say so. I thought it was like horror, hardcore horror, and I did not like want to watch it because I thought it was going to be mm. really scary. But then I remember <laughs> like one night it came on TV. I mm -hmm. watched it. I'm like, holy crap. And I, yeah. and then I was like, wait a minute. On tape or on TV, was it edited then? Um, yeah, parts edited. of it were, was edited, but it's very easy to understand what they're saying, even though it's edited. Right. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, if someone was like, you, you're like, there's only one possible combination that could fill in that <laughs> blank. Only one. Right, of course. And um, when I noticed Mila Jovovich, and I'd never heard of her before, but I, I was confused. I, I was like... There's supposed to be a guy saving the day, but there's a woman saving the day. And don't worry, people, I'm about to clarify that. I'm about to totally change my opinion. <laughs> don't get mad at me just yeah. yet. <laughs> so I was like, huh, they, they've got a female as the hero. And I actually like that because, in my opinion, I kind of like the female heroes over the male heroes. Exactly. So, right. Yeah, because the male heroes are portrayed far more than the females. Right, right. But females are, they have more agility. They're, I'm just going to say they're smarter. Yes. <laughs> smarter, and I have to tell you, too. I mean, for me personally, I, I just, I love these films where it's the, you know, where the heroine. Uh -huh. The hero. Or the, heroine. Uh, the heroine, or is it the protagonist, you call them also? Yeah, the she's the protagonist. The protagonist is a female. Oh, I always yeah. have a, you know, a thing for films like that, like with the Underworld films, you know? And, um, let's see, uh... Michelle Rodriguez, um, I had seen her in, like, Fast and the Furious. Mm -hmm. But then seeing her in there, you know Michelle Rodriguez. She's going to play, like, the hardcore, like, tough woman character, and she does that. Right. And I, right. I, I, I knew she was going to be, like, the last one or last two. If she, like, when I first watched the movie, she was going to live or die. So I, I, was, I actually okay. liked Michelle Rodriguez being in it. It was, it was pretty enjoyable. The, yeah. Um, there was a like the uh, leader, the the black guy that was leading them. I yeah. Like the way he died, it's like he died too fast. Oh, well, was chopped. Yeah, with the lasers. Yeah, I, 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 I enjoyed his character. I a watched lot. Yeah, it, he... and I was like, 
That's um, how he dies? Come on. And just, the, you know. We're like, really? Wait, what's going on? Hold on one second, guys. That, um, no, but I guess that boot. Uh-huh. Okay. One second, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, we're calling him yet again. Hey, pal. <laughs> yeah, my I, Skype, my Skype stopped working, but my computer didn't. That's good. That's oh, okay. So perfect. You didn't have to restart. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think it's like due to me running Skype, which is a video thing, and the camera. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, I, I'm talking about the second one now. How and I just mentioned how oh, with one. apocalypse. It, <laughs> okay, it, hold on. I got to show the second one. That's it, right there. Okay. Yeah. And I'm holding, I just basically said how, you know, I, without giving spoilers on how the first one ended, I just basically, you know, saying what we thought of it and what the basic um, plot line was. And I just basically stated that uh, with Apocalypse, it picks up right where the first one left off. You know, yeah, left pretty up. much. And the enemy in here is now Nemesis. I believe, was his name Nemesis? Nemesis. It was, Nemesis. Okay. yeah. And were there any returning uh, characters in from... Uh, no, besides, because it was, was, it really was her... Except, and that other guy. And they yeah. took the other guy off. She kind of like got dosed up or something. She got knocked out. Yeah. She got knocked out. When she, yes. And when she woke up, she was in this, you know, or I guess Raccoon City where it's like a post-apocalyptic yeah. world. Um, hence the name Apocalypse. Yeah. Now in here, she meets up with, uh, I guess, a group of uh, a hodgepodge of people. There was Jill Valentine. Uh, oh, you got to love Jill Valentine, man. And, uh, Gullery. Beautiful, of course, gorgeous. Oh, I yeah. love her. Oh yeah, and she's a cop of oh, the yeah. police department. Um, uh, there was uh, her cop buddy. I forgot his. Excuse me, I'm burping here with the. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot his name too. It escapes but me. Something tragic happens to him, which we won't spoil. Or I won't spoil. Or no, I won't. I won't spoil it either. Spoil. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I did mention that uh, the dogs make a return. Oh yeah, there's a bit in here where um, they take refuge in a church, and the Ooh. interesting thing about this is um, I watched the extra features on this at least on my uh, on my DVD, and I think they are the same. Yeah, well, anyways, that church was built from scratch because they would not allow. No, there was no church that would allow them to film that particular scene that took place. That the whole scene that took place in the church, it would not let them use a real church for that. So they had to simulate a church. So when you're watching that and you see the church, that's not a real church. Yeah, that's because the, the you got um the way churches are set up, they you know, they, they do cuss in that whole scene they're there yes. and there's killing and stuff. No mm -hmm. church is gonna allow you to cuss in cuss in the like while you're in the walls or shoot a gun off. Right. You know, if your church does that, you need to, A, get out while you still can, <laughs> or close your mouth. Yeah. yeah. Although, is that is that always the case? Because I've seen other uh, films where it's taken place in a church, um, like Gangster Picks. Um, Maybe. It, it, I mean, like it might be for this particular film, but... I mean, if I mean, you it really like... like um, church, kind of going off on a tangent... Yeah, here, but yeah, but, oh, well, yeah. Well, let's let's skip that subject about churches now. We're <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're definitely gonna get off topic. Yeah, and okay, and if you recall, remember the gentleman that was in the wheelchair? Oh, doctor, doctor, looking for his daughter. Yeah, I'm trying to remember his name, Doctor Something. Does it mention it in the back? After narrowly escaping the horrors of the underground high facility, Alice is quickly thrust back into the war. Bridging above ground yeah, thing and the looking it. Doesn't doesn't yes Wait, he's the stealthy I called it Doctor Doctor Loomis. No, that's Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I forgot his name. Doctor Uh But the villain here is uh Thomas uh Crutch Crutchman, which you guys might know from Wanted. Um he was also the bad guy in the film Next with Nicolas Cage and various other things as well. Oh, that's where I've seen a, him from. Yeah, villain. Yeah, from Wanted, if you recall. Oh, and okay. From, and Next. Thank this you was for an, telling me that. I've been wondering yeah. that since I've seen it. 
Yeah, and you know what? They upped the ante on this one, I thought. I thought the fight sequences were superior. Oh, yeah. The first, the first one was great, but, I mean, in my personal opinion, I found this one was far more action-packed. I loved all the, the you know, the, the martial uh, skills that, that took place, you know, the, the, the hand-to-hand combat, especially oh, yeah. in that graveyard scene with Joe Valentine um, and, and uh, Alice and then all the other folks. Oh, uh, what was that? Butt. And, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, it was the uh, black cop guy. Alice, Hispanic the woman guy. with the web, the, with the camera, and mm-hmm. Jill. And Jill, the Hispanic guy, too, working for no, the... the rec- Hispanic guy hadn't got there yet. They hadn't met up with him yet. Right, okay, yeah, but he does... Okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. I, yeah, I'm then... Confused. Yeah, I don't want to get ahead of you, because... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's I'll right, no, thank you for putting that up. I, yeah, I, I keep thinking they're all... It's kind of been a while, but I still have it, you know, um, there might be some details here that may, might be uh, slightly sketchy. Um... But once again, another fun one to, to watch. I mean, what, what did you think between the first and second one, in your opinion, Josh? I like, well, the, um, well, I do know the, uh, the look of the zombies in the first one, they, um, they look better than the second one, because what? the second one, I think the zombies had just gotten turned into zombies, so they hadn't really had time yeah. to, like, decay and stuff. Although but, in that graveyard scene, they were decayed. Oh yeah, well they were in decayed there. But I'm talking about like the ones going through the alley and stuff. But yeah. Like you said, the fighting scenes they were they were Excellent. good. Excellent. One of my, uh, I think her fight with Nemesis. Yes. Oh, brilliant! That first encounter and then the final showdown. Uh, the final showdown is the one that I'm talking about. But that that first encounter was pretty pretty cool too. Where they said, "Oh, this is it. This is the this is a match we've been waiting for." She jumped off that bridge. Yeah, she just, and just jumped fighting. off, and how she You're actually just like charging he sh- nemesis. Yeah, he shoots a You're missile at her like down this vent, and yes. how she like she avoids getting finger. killed. She turns over like one of those laundry bins, and the fire yes. just literally goes around her. I was like, that's awesome. I would have wouldn't have thought of that. I would have looked back up the <laughs> vent. You can't get me. Exactly, yes. <laughs> See, that's why I wasn't in that movie. Uh, what do you mean? That's why I wasn't in that movie, because I would have looked up the vent when he shot oh, the rocket that's down. Oh, you weren't in the movie. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, you done I, something I, like that. If I could have been in the background, like one of the zombies in yeah. the background, after, yeah. like, at the end of the day, I would have said, can you just sign me that, this autograph and give me my money? And I'll, I'll be good. Yay! <laughs> now... Okay, so now let's move on to Extinction. I just pulled that one out myself. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to pull it out. Okay. Man. Oh, this, this too. The, the, the look of the cover, I just like the look of the cover. Like, cover is fantastic, yes. You guys can see this. Yep. You've got some crows yeah. in the background. you got the yep. Las Vegas Back- sign, which gives you a clue as to where this is taking place. Yes. There's the back. Yes. Got the back going on there. Looking nice. Looking nice. This one kind of takes place a little after the second one where it ended but they kind of uh, Mila or Alice I should say went her separate way because she was worried that uh, there was some kind of implant that Umbrella was spying on her yeah take f- uh, yeah go, go on with the with the plot and everything and- alright so um, I don't want to say I don't want to say the ending on the second one but um, basically we got a new villain here and this one's called what's his name Okay, basically it's another dude, another scientist guy, he's experimenting and stuff, and he's cloning Alice's, because he's, I think he's won the original Alice because she was able to bond with a T-virus at a cellular level. Yes. So he's been trying to clone Alice's, but he can't get it right, they all die by like one zombie in the most simplest of ways. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right. So they're like in the middle of this desert, and like you said, Alice... Um, was with the Hispanic guy and RJ, but she separates from RJ, them because yeah, she figures out that Umbrella is spying on them, spying on her using the satellite, so she downloads their um, schedule. She stays off the grid, or so she mm-hmm. thinks, or so she thinks. Yes. There's actually a scene in the movie where she asks what time is it, and she, need, and she immediately goes to get yeah. inside. Because she knows that's when the sunlight's going to be right on Except her. Yes, yes. Did I leave anything out? Oh, it takes place. This is actually the first zombie movie, <laughs> I will say, that was made at the time. Up until that point, no zombie movie had been made during the day. Really? That I'm aware of. You might... What about Dawn of the 
what about Dawn of the Dead? Well, Did you ever see Dawn of the Dead? That was during the day, I thought, too. Well, you might be right. Yeah. Okay, you might scratch that, but... Um, yeah. The director of this, he he was it was a different X9. director, but he had a lot of different concepts going on. But the yeah. challenge of doing a zombie movie in the day, zombies are scary at night, but you need something else to make them scary during the day. Yes, and in a post-apocalyptic uh, setting. Oh yeah, you know, like it's like a cross between a Resident Evil film and uh, and a Mad Max or something, right? Yeah, and in the Wait, in this one, they're faster. And they're fed. Yeah, you have a, a certain group that like, the Uber zombies. Yeah, like the uber, like super zombies, they're faster, and you know you try to get, you 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 really can't outrun them unless you have a gun. That's the only way you're gonna outrun them. Right, and well, Mila was taking them on hand to hand. Another beautiful fight sequences oh, by her with the knives. More martial skills involved, and uh, we, excuse me, we bring in some some different characters in here. We bring in um, Claire Redfield. Oh yeah, Claire. Uh, by Ali Larder, and then we also have Ashanti. Remember Ashante? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was cool. She became like RJ's, uh, RJ's uh, girl. Yeah, RJ's girl. <laughs> RJ was cool. Absolutely loved that guy. I like the the whole references with the, uh, uh, you know, where he was rolling the joint. And, yeah. Um, remember that that whole bit. Oh, and yeah. uh, there's, I won't spoil what the scene was, but there was a line by with the Hispanic gentleman who says, uh, "RJ, you sneaky son of a bitch," because it was a. You know, <laughs> I a saw point. that. That was hilarious. I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah. Great, great stuff. Oh. And Ali looking beautiful and in top form. Um, and very, very good fight sequences there. And the ending was uh, pretty good. And, you know, um, let's just say it has something similar to uh, Attack of the Clones, if you remember that, from the prequels of Star Wars. i got to remember Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones? All the, all the clone troopers? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I had a moment. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite things in the movie is um, the guy that could tell what was in the can by shaking it. Yes, yes, that guy. He's like Every from Texas. Every time or... I watch that scene, I have to eat something. Yeah. I'm I'm, I get, like, whenever I hear like, there's a food part in a movie, I just get so hungry and I have to grab like almost either what they're eating or something similar to what they're Unless eating. Unless it's um, a horror movie, then you'll wait. Or the yes. favorites was um, uh, I Will. Yeah, that actually doesn't bother me. I've watched um, like things like I Spit in Your Grave and Martyrs Eating Food. Like I've and, tried to watch like the Saw movies and eat. Uh, and one time oh. I felt myself like I went, I went, nope, here, take my food. I don't want it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but yeah. it's with some movies. It all depends on how much gore and stuff's in it. Okay, we're going back to Resident I, Evil. Okay. <laughs> with Extinction now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was getting off topic. I was like, okay. I need to get back. Not you. You're still good. I was talking about me. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> Everybody uh, can on. tell you're not used to this. No, no, no it, it's cool. I well, what else did you want to add uh, to uh, Extinction? Let's see. Um, other other bits that you uh, liked. Uh, let's see. Uh, I liked I liked the scientist guy. The um villain because um i like him. isaac wasn't it isaac. dr isaac yeah dr isaac yes that guy was tyrant a that's who he plays tyrant so tyrant. He played the game he, he's tyrant i believe if i got that right so um he's the one isaac. to capture alice because he considers her to be the future yeah and i won't spoil it but it turns out in his opinion she's not the future as he comes to um find out because i will say this he ends up getting bit by a zombie. Yeah. So, the only cure is the T-virus. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say you know, for everybody that hasn't seen it. If you have seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I like how he goes behind um, the CEO's back. What's his name? Uh, Wesker. Wesker. Yeah. Wesker, yeah. He goes behind his back, records his audio, and types it in a computer and makes it say yes. what, what the words. I'm like, I want that program. Please give yeah. me that program. And this is the first one to feature Wesker in it. We didn't, oh, you know, yeah. And our, you can see the difference between Extinction and then, what's this next one called? Afterlife. Afterlife, yes, yeah. which I, I just I just grabbed right here and I'm holding it up. Boo, Afterlife. Yeah, afterlife. Now, what are your thoughts on that? Like, set, I, set everything up for this, how this started. All right, I will say this. Um, first two. And, um, f y as you guys can see, I have a PlayStation set right down there in that white container. Um, I put this disc in there and I was going over to watch the movie. Turns out there's a PS3 theme loaded on this disc. 
Really? Yeah, it matches the cover just like that. So if you have this right here and you have a PS3, put it into your PS3 and you can get the theme. Uh, yeah, and it looks just what? like that. Oh. Yeah, it changes That's red just... and black. I thought it was cool. Me? Yeah. Well, and the picture is awesome too. I mean, look at that. Oh, yeah. I right, see there's the front, cool. Mila going down with guns. There's the back, her with katanas and a mm. nice black jumpsuit, which is good. As you can see, we got a new zombie there with a weird-looking tentacle mouth, kind of. So, this one takes place, like, years after Extinction. Mm-hmm. So, They've been, uh, been hunting, uh, I guess, different branches of uh, Umbrella. Yeah, so Mila's... Um, Mila told, tells uh, Wesker at the end... I'm not spoiling... Oh, crap. I'm not spoiling the ending, but she tells Wesker she's going to bring a few friends... Yes. When she goes to see him, that's all I'm going to say. So the beginning of uh, Afterlife, she meets up with Wesker. But something mm. ends up happening, yeah. and she gets detoured big time. And then it fast forwards <laughs> years. So the zombies have had time to decay and look really gross. Yeah. When, you, when you're talking and about zombies. Some action as well. Yeah, and so the human race is dwindled down. There's a few groups here and there, here and there. And, um... Claire took the uh, survivors in extinction, and uh, yeah, yeah, I got that right. Alaska. Yeah, she yeah she took them to Alaska because they're trying to find um, Arcadia, which is supposed to be uh, virus free and stuff like that. So um, that's why Mila stays behind to fight tyrants. Right. All right. So by the time Mila catches up, she's trying to find Arcadia, and she finds the coordinates. She gets there. There's nothing but planes, dead planes. Yeah. So she yeah. and she's basically losing hope. There's no humans left. Everybody's mm -hmm. dead. Why should she continue? And she ends up meeting Claire again, but she's yeah. got this weird bug device on her chest. Yeah. So the only way she can get it off of her is if she knocks her out. And she knocks her out, pulls it off, and it causes Claire to lose her memory. She doesn't even know her own name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Mila, on Mila is literally the only person on the Earth flying, which Umbrella can very easily track. Right, right. Yeah, the, and Wesker even says in the movie, not, there's not a lot of people flying nowadays. And right. that, to me, that's like Wesker saying, we were watching you the whole time. You should be smarter than this. <laughs> yeah. Did you honestly not think we were watching you? Right, right. Yeah, so like they get to Los Angeles, and they're seeing hundreds of thousands, possibly good million zombies surrounding mm -hmm. this prison. <laughs> and they get there, and they find a couple survivors. And mm -hmm. all, of them, all of them I can tolerate except the Hollywood agent guy. I did not like him. Now you're, yeah, of course, you're talking about... Um, I can't remember his name. Do right? you land on top of the roof of, of some, some building? Yeah, yeah, she lands on top of the prison, and, they, yeah. and the survivors there have heard transmissions from Arcadia, so they think she's from Arcadia. Turns out yeah. she's not. She's trying to find it. Right. Comes to find out, Arcadia is a ship, not a place. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, so they're on top of this prison and stuff, and they got zombies surrounding the place. They can't go anywhere. So they want to <laughs> try to get out. I guess I, I'm going literally through this movie step by step at this point. Yeah, I don't want to spoil too much, but also let's just say that uh, she encounters someone that's... Uh, Let's just say she meets up with her brother. Yeah. At some point. Oh yeah. Played by let me if I could just find if his name. If you watch Prison Break, you will recognize yeah. him. And what and what a scene to open up with for him. He's in prison break and guess where they find him? In in a prison. <laughs> in a prison. I and you know what? I've never thought of that. It's never clicked yeah. before, but now it makes perfect sense. He's in prison prison break and you find him behind bars. Uh, my brain literally just went <laughs> it's been blown. <laughs> Yeah, it's been. <laughs> what did you think of the action? Now I thought the oh, action was. Oh, the action terrible. was awesome. Like Katana, great stuff. Um, my, I saw this in 3D when I went to the theaters or not. I my have favorite. Um, my favorite scene is the one where Mila or Alice and Claire mm -hmm. are fighting the big thing with the axe. Yes, Axe Man. Yes, that oh was my fantastic. God. That was when, awesome. Um, I like with uh, Ali Lauder's character. Which is, of course, Claire. Um, I think she's. I think at this point she might have gotten her memory back, or at least most of it. Yeah, she had gotten her memory back. She knows, you know, who's uh, who. 
black gentleman. He was a, a sports guy or something like that. Oh, yeah. Like um, a, Luther West. Was, ooh, Luther West. That guy Luther was fantastic. West. I love that part where he goes, uh, you see the X-Men taking down the the, um, the the cage or whatever, the fence. <laughs> Luther, shoot that motherfucker. Remember that? <laughs> so she, yeah, he shoots him, and nothing, nothing happens, basically, is what. He, I, he's I, like, was, what the F is that? Um, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm saying, why are you still standing there asking the question? Run. Yeah. Get out of there. Yeah, exactly. I would have been inside, had have locked the door and laughing at him. Yes. By well, the time and of he course, got done. They, they managed to uh, get out of that uh, that situation and, and they end up, uh, you know, going to the ship and everything, but I, I don't want to, actually, we should leave it at that, you know, how, yeah. when they get shit. I like, That's, um, there's yeah. one scene that actually really made me laugh, and everybody knows, if you've watched up to this movie, Mila Jovovich's character, Alice, loves guns. That's, she yeah. loves them with a passion. So they go yes. down into this armory, and she gets in there, and it'd be like a gamer oh. going into an well, all-you-can-eat game was shop. That Afterlife, or was that retro? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was Afterlife, yes, yes. And that gun where you could put coins in it. Oh wow! And she, and when Luther like, asks her, "What what are you doing?" She's like, "It's a hobby." It's a hobby. I yeah. didn't know really how good that would that would be, but it kind of makes me want to try that in real life. But yeah, I'm and, too uh, stingy with my quarters to attempt that. Yeah, oh, you want to know a great scene too was with uh, um, uh, Claire and and um, Alice fighting the X Men. Oh did, yeah. Did you remember that that scene? Oh yeah, it was, I, I remember like it was all, it was yeah. all uh, Claire really, and she ran and did that. I think she did like a flip off the wall or something oh, like that. Oh yeah, I could not have and done that because there's water fantastic. all over the floor, and you could very yes. easily slip. And, and it's like she's got suction cups. She's flip. Yes. And even though Alice, I will say this: Alice ends up her powers ends up end up getting taken away from her. I'm not gonna say how. But she still yeah. manages to pull off some very sweet moves without yeah, well, him. I don't quite get. Did he, did he? Um, were all her powers taken away, or just some of them? Maybe all just of the them. All of them, because she was still pulling off some uh, pretty yeah. fantastic. Feats, Remember, but. she was head of security at Umbrella. So that's, okay. Yeah. Nope. So she probably she probably learned some good moves, but then her agility when she got the T virus, like yeah. doubled or tripled that. So if she could do one backflip, she could possibly do two, you know. Okay. Now, let's move on to Retribution. All right. Let's grab see. that. And mine has the beautiful lenticular because it's a 3D one. Oh, uh, mine does. And mine's just like it's got Mila and the nice suit there. Nice umbrella yeah, suit. Same thing. The only difference with mine is lenticular. It kind of pops out. There we go. Bam. Very got to nice. angle it for you guys so you can see it there. Mila holding a... Looks like an automatic gun. Semi-automatic. As you yeah, can see, yeah. guys, we've got Michelle Rodriguez back down there. Yes, and this Ada one does Wong. pick up right after um, Ada Wong's in here. And, um, Ada Wong's definitely in there. Much, almost the whole cast from the first and second one, Matt. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. It's, it's, well, the yeah, first and second one, it's like a big reunion, and you don't really understand it. Like, when I was watching it in theaters, and I watched the 3D <laughs> version, 3D version tripped me out. You saw this in 3D? Oh, did I? Like... The scene where the axe guy throws the axe, yeah, that freaked me yeah, out. I, I, with Ada Wong in, down in the streets, right? Oh yeah, it freaked me out yes. because yes. if you saw it in 3D, he threw the axe. That axe literally came out of the screen, and everybody in the theater like ducked their yep. head back. Wow, yeah, I did not see this one in 3D. It was I did awesome. see it in real life. There, um, so uh, in I would recommend if anybody there has a 3D TV or a 3D capability device, watch mm -hmm. it. And well, duck your head because it will hit you. Uh, what's it cool about this? It does include the 2D and the 3D version, which is quite nice. Sweet. This one. Nice. And okay, you know, um, it basically does pick up right after the uh, right after Afterlife. Yeah. Uh, and I guess the basic yeah. thing, the whole thing, it basically takes place in like a uh, like a holodeck or something, like a like, like up a in um graphic uh, there's room. A, there's a place All, up in Russia, Siberia. Siberia, okay. I think I would say Siberia is where this takes place. Because if anybody, you know, if you're watching my, my screen over here, you can see there's ice and stuff. And you see what looks like Russia over there. And we got some submarines, umbrella yeah. vehicles. So you're saying, what's what's with all the different cultures there? And it explains it in the movie. Or would you like me to explain that or just let everybody else just find it out on their own? 
Uh, about what now? Yeah, why there's so many different places in the world, like on the oh. cover and stuff. Um, I guess you know what. Don't I guess we shouldn't go too much into detail, but we'll just tell that we'll just let them know that it's uh, if Basically. you guys are familiar with Star Trek. The next generation, there's a thing called the holodeck where you can basically program the computer to uh, basically simulate any kind of world. Yeah, France. that would definitely be the best way to you know, something. explain it. And that's basically what, what this is. So that hence why you know they're able to go to different places, different areas. Although I didn't quite get how, oh, you know what? How some of the people return and you return to evil. Let's, you know, like some of the people from her past, pretty much almost everyone comes back. Oh, you and didn't evil. understand why they were evil? They're, they're evil. Were they clones? Yeah, they were clones. Okay, that's why they were just programmed to be evil. That's that's right. Well, I, in in the in in that they also show hundreds of Alice's being cloned. So like yeah. when they cloned oh. the people she was familiar with, yeah, they it, they changed their mem their memory so they would come back as evil. Except, uh, well, there's there's let's just say there's two variants on uh, Michelle Rodriguez's character, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, there's two Michelle Rodriguez is in there, and they're complete opposites of each other. One yeah. wants to take care of the environment; she's a yeah. nice person. The other <laughs> one will kill you if you even breathe. How does the line go? Um, let's just say there's a little girl in here, and says we won't say what her relation is to the group, but I met your sister. She wasn't very nice. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> that's hilarious! Oh my like, God! And, you know, I know a lot of folks ripped on uh, Retribution as well, saying it was the absolute worst. And, you know, I, I have to say it's not the best, but I still think it went hand in hand with I, Afterlife. If you see Afterlife, you have to see Retribution. I thought those two complemented each other yeah, very, I very well. Too. I still enjoyed Retribu Retribution. I still had fun with it. I liked the concept of where it was taking place. I've, you know, it's, you know, after everything, you know, uh, Resident Evil 1 you know one and and two being like in the city or one and one being more of underground second one took you out into the city the third one was like in an apocalyptic mad max type world in the desert the fourth one was, uh, in, was, los angeles. Come back was in los angeles and now in the fifth one being in siberia in this holodeck uh danger room type place the danger room is where the x-men go to train and it has it's basically a, a similar thing to uh, what you know what the holodeck does in star trek where it can take you uh it can uh come up with different holographic uh scenarios and destinations and places and characters and stuff that you know can just uh, appear out of uh, seemingly nowhere but the dangers are real and that's the thing and I, I believe the zombies are real uh as well and the whole thing i mean you know what did you think of the action and the fighting and, and everything to me, the action in this one was possibly the best one out of really? all of them. Really? Because I, I have to tell you, okay, well, let me just uh, ask the question right now. Uh, thus far, between fi the five Resident Evils, which is your favorite one? Number three, Extinction. I mean, okay. I personally have to say, I think, in my personal opinion, I think the second one is still the best one out of all of them. Well, the reason why I like Extinction is, like I said, it's a zombie movie that's in the daylight. Really, really good, too. There's a lot of cool characters, mm -hmm. and to me, it's just, I, li I like the story, and it's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's just an all-around good movie. Plus, they go to Vegas. Yeah, and if you like Mad Max, you're going to definitely love uh, Extinction. Because now, it's I, like, I like the second one, too. Second mm -hmm. one is good, too, but to me, it was like every other zombie movie. It's in a city, oh. it's at night, and there's oh. zombies. But I think that the whole Nemesis thing kind of uh, changes the flavor of that. Yeah, uh, it kind of does, because... What I kind of enjoyed about about that, and I thought... And the characters were, were pretty cool. I mean, there you had two strong ones, like two f strong female leads being, you know, of course, not just Alice, but, but Jill Valentine's character. Or not Jill Valentine, but, uh, I'm sorry, Sienna Gullery's character, uh, uh, Jill Valentine, of course. And, by the way, in, in Retribution, Jill Valentine does make a return. Well, she actually makes a return in Afterlife. If you At watch, the end. You if have you to watch to the end, watch after the credits. Let some credits yes. roll, and then she comes back on. And I must say, mm -hmm. the outfit... Oh, uh, yes. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Are you talking about Mila's outfit, like Alice's? No, I was talking about Jill's. Oh, oh Jill. Oh, oh yeah. I'm talking about Jill's. I'm talking about Jill, yeah. I remember, I remember that outfit. Uh, yeah, let's just say it kind of pushes up uh, some of her assets. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, now, did you see the trailer for Armageddon yet, or is that the trailer um, outfit? I, I haven't seen it. 
I no, haven't seen sure anything enough. for it. You know, it kind of hints at what it's going to look like at the end of Retribution, though. If you uh, recall. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, the so ending. Getting, just I'm... flying creatures and stuff. That looks like it's going to be just an absolute uh, blast to watch, I think. Yeah, I, am, I will not say anything about the ending. I'm just going to say when I saw the ending, mm -hmm. I was like, holy crap. Yes. I, 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 I was like, okay, this next one's going to have plenty of action in it. So if you watch the end of Retribution... You will know there's going to be a lot of action in Armageddon. I mean, the way they I mean, end it, there cannot be, you know, no action in the next one. Otherwise, they're going to lose a whole lot of fans. Almost looks like a throwback to number two with a little bit of three thrown in there because of, you know, being, you know, Oh, yeah, it, yeah, two with three, with the, but then a little bit of four if you think about the location, sort of. And a little bit of four, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because city. they end yeah. off on that one central location. Right, right. Um, and this time it looks like they were going to be working for someone that was an enemy before, and, um, I don't know, should we, I don't, I don't want to give away who, but you know who I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah, well, so I'll, they, I'll they, say, they I'll say this, basically, um, basically, the, I'll just say the Red Queen mm -hmm. now is, um, she's wanting to take over the world, wanting to kill anybody that's still alive, so yeah. enemies have to unite to get rid of the w Red Queen. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, enemies go are going to have to work together yep. in the next That's, one. There's yep. no choice. Yeah. There's no choice. Okay, so let's let's come down to the individual ratings uh -huh. of each, and then we'll we'll give the rating of the overall average of the whole franchise or the whole All film right. collection as a whole. Okay. How many stars would you give Resident Evil One? Uh, Resident Evil One. I would give it. I would give it a four out of five. I'll give it a four out of five. Okay, and I would give it. You know what? You know what? I would have to give it. Oh shit! Uh, <sighs> it's hard okay, decision. I'm, I'm going to say a strong. A strong three point seven five. Three point seven five. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, and you'll you'll see why. I mean, I, you know, because we still have the other four to go. Because now for the second Resident Evil, which is uh, Apocalypse, mm -hmm. I personally really, really uh, freaking enjoyed that one. I would give that one, give you some indication of how much I like it. I love it. Apocalypse. I would give that one personally a a four point five out of five. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll give it I'll give it a five because you know we you really they, yeah. A five? Apocalypse. Okay. Because they've got Ow. good characters, a good storyline, <laughs> and because you know you got the whole nemesis thing going on there. So yeah. Alice has something yeah. to worry about the whole time, and yeah, it's like a chess that's game. Because okay, well then that's interesting. Because then what would you give the third one then? Oh, I'll give uh, Extinction there. Show everybody. I'm gonna give that one a five. Okay, so you're giving Apocalypse and and Extinction a yeah, five. Yeah, because Extinction is my favorite okay. one. The reason being is you got a lot of new guns, um, some returning characters, some new, um, mm -hmm. and uh, the story does. It has a really good story and a good location, and I thought I thought it was just awesome. I, I enjoyed it as well, but especially with the crows. That yeah, that was fantastic, and I would. You know what? Now, don't get thrown off by the score. This is not bad in any way. I give Extinction a 3.5 out of 5. That's a good score. I know, yeah, I know I was, yeah, you saw, you heard how silent I got. I'm like... I, I, I don't want you to think that 3.5 <laughs> is... Let me put it to you this way. 3 stars already. Okay, 2.5 is already average. Not good, yeah, not bad. 2.5. Yeah. Anything above 2.5 is already above average. Like 2.75 is already slightly above average. Mm -hmm. When you give something 3 out of 5... Bear in mind, two and a half is already just average. So when you give something three, that's already well above average. That's that's already good. So anything above three, so you know, three. If you get at least three, that's already good, in my personal opinion. So three and a half, that's only like 0.5 away from four. That's that's fantastic, you know, in, in my personal opinion, because I'm 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 judging it by you know the other films around it. Uh huh. So you would give it a five. I would give it a 3.5 for Extinction. Now, what about what about Afterlife? Afterlife. Um, dang, I, I'm just, I'm going to 
possibly be the stick in the mud here. Really, anyone <laughs> but the first one, I, I'm just going to have to give a five. Because a I just, five for Afterlife? I, li I like them all. Afterlife, I like because, you know, you got, you know, a couple of different locations. You got Alaska, uh, Australia, and wow. the ship they end up going oh, 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 on. Oh, oh, no, this is Afterlife. Not, not, not Retribution. Retribution was the holodeck one. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm still talking about Afterlife. You know, oh, okay. yeah, Alaska. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking yeah, about Los the Angeles yeah, and the ship. That, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you were talking about when they went to the different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Type place. So you would give that one a five, Afterlife. Yeah. I give, okay. I give them really all at least four or five because. I, okay, well, I would have to give Afterlife. Let's see. If I give the first one 3.75, the second one a four and a half, three a three and a half. I would give Afterlife. You know what? I would give it a solid four out of five for Afterlife, and I would give Retribution. Let's see. You started off with. Uh, I don't know. Okay. What would you give Retribution? Uh, well, I already said a five, but a r really, Retribution and Extinction are my favorite. Retribution, being Ooh. one of my other my other favorite, is really? there's so much action in this. It's just awesome. And plus, one of the things, and I know this may not make any sense, but Mila Jovovich's hair in this one it looks the best of any of the other Resident Evils. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll show everybody. You know, there's her hair in part one. Um, here's her hair in Apocalypse. It's got longer. <laughs> There's her hair in Extinction. And um, Afterlife. But Retribution, it's darker. It's blacker. Yeah, that is right. I, do, I did notice that it was darker. Yeah, I quickly noted that with down. Potato. You know what? Oh, God. So, so you again, your score for Retribution... Yeah, I'm, I, well, let's go, let's go 4.5, I'm going to go down half a number. The re five. reason being, um, hmm, kind of towards the end, the way it ends. A little goofy with, uh, well, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's, that, yeah, because. When it kind of went out of the way to, to find, to bring back certain characters that you thought were gone. Yeah, it's uh, you've you've noticed that how they do that in some up, some yeah. of the movies, yeah. yeah and at yeah, some point, like popped out popped out of no out of nowhere type of thing. Yeah, you're you're <laughs> like, can you have given me a little foreshadowing? This was going yeah. to happen. Yeah, although I did enjoy that final conflict though at the I end. I did. Yep, yep. I, I did enjoy it, and I had fun with that. Oh yeah. I personally, okay, retribution. I would give it, I would give it a, uh, a solid four out of five, just like just like Afterlife. Equivalent nice. to, to me, those give uh, those are to go hand to hand together. Now, as for a total, the, the we're gonna start wrapping it up. We're like nearing an hour here, but um, <laughs> wow! Recording. But yeah, uh, what what would you give the overall franchise? Overall franchise, so, I, would uh, four, uh, uh, I would give four. I would give four point five. The film film collection, the entire film collection. I would give four point five. Four point five. Because um, my reason being four point five, I love the series. You know, I love everything about it. The only thing is, they kind of always end the same. With a cliffhanger. Well, you take how part one ends, how okay. part two ends, so on and so forth. It's pretty much yeah. scientist, and the next one is evil. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. It's got kind you. of how they always end. Almost like the same basic formula. Yeah, so you really don't need to watch the end, but at the same time, you need to watch the end. That's why I give it 4.5. As the entire film series, all five films, uh, for me... I would give it a solid, a solid four. Nice. And I believe uh, Brian also would give it a solid four as well. As I asked, I asked him about this for as a, as a series. I didn't get a breakdown completely of each film, but yeah. So four out of four out of five. Four. I'm talking, you know, as a total for all five of them, and for you a four point five. So in the end, you know, there were some slight differences with uh, you know with three and and with four and five, but. Almost like pretty much as as a total as a, as a full you know complete all all uh, five films we kind of agree there you know on a similar score there right oh yeah being like you know four and a half and a four okay so there we go this is this was uh, our first 
first review here with uh, Josh. You mind if I give out your last name? Is that okay? Uh, no. No, okay, with Josh. <laughs> okay. Uh, our Mantrix Alpha, which, of course, I'm going to leave a link down below. He's going to have this. Josh is going to have this uh, same conversation. Well, it's, there's going to be some slight uh, differences, but he's going to have, you know, basically the same uh, 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 review that we did on his channel, which I'm going to link not only to his channel, but to that video as well. Yeah. So I hope Check folks enjoy it. And, hey, I, I had fun doing this, pal. I mean, what did... I did. What, I did too. Um, it's very what, rare you actually meet someone that's willing to talk about movies, like hardcore yes. talk about movies. It's always yes. like they want to just talk about the actor, or they want to, you know, talk yeah. about the story. And here we tackled the whole franchise. Oh yeah, oh, you mean if, if you're going to talk about a movie, you got to go from actors to action mm -hmm. to lighting, sound, music, all that stuff. Next time we got to get Aaron Pin in on this, and anyone oh, yeah. else or whoever might be interested in uh, joining in, you know, on Skype, you know? Oh, yeah. it would be like a similar thing here, but it's, yeah, too bad Aaron Penn couldn't join us. He's very, very knowledgeable about these films, and I believe he actually uh, enjoys this franchise as well. I mean, um, if an, you're a gamer, you like the franchise. He's a gamer as well. You know, I, I've never played any of the Resident Evils, except I played like a demo for the newest one, like Part 6. Really? So you haven't played the first one or second one, like back in the day in PlayStation? No, I, ne I never did, but I Ooh. played the demo for Part 6. Interesting, okay. And it kind of got to me, it's kind of scary a little bit because of the graphics and stuff. They do, they do a good job on the 6th Resident Evil, so I definitely recommend playing them. Which we can pick up now for 1999. <laughs> so play, so, yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, we can still keep on talking here. I'm just going to end the video. I'm just going to tell the folks I that, uh, bye bye. Just say, uh,